Over the last few weeks, I've had the opportunity to attend several concerts in and around Los Angeles, starting with Godspeed You Black Emperor at the Fox Theater in Pomona, California on September 14th. The show was a very minimalistic experience, but extremely powerful. Multiple looping 8mm projectors provided the backdrop to a dimly lit stage. The prints would loop, morph, and even melt amid the droning, changing music. The projections provided a framework for the mind as the feelings of the music washed over you. The band played continuously for almost two hours, and the projections and music would slowly evolve and change, often imperceptibly, and you'd find yourself being led down a path of hazy memories never experienced. There was a sense of death of America, but with an oddly hopeful undertone. Early sections of the concert sounded like trains huffing and chuffing, paired with projections of schematics and lateral motion through an American desert scheme. Imagery of collapsing building footage was melted by the projector heat in time with the music, evoking both 9-11 and the conspiracy theories surrounding it, without ever showing an image of the actual event. In fact, American capitalism, 9-11, conspiracy, it's never mentioned explicitly, but evoked indirectly by images and sounds, like when the familiar notes of Amazing Grace pierced through one section. Though the show was in almost complete darkness, and there were no lyrics, I walked away extremely energized from the performance. Watch all the footage from the Godspeed concert that I shot by clicking the link or annotation below. I was also able to attend Station to Station, a moving art happening, as it stopped in Los Angeles on September 26th. Unfortunately, I didn't have tickets to the actual concert, but I was able to listen to Dan Deacon do a few of his tracks from America from the main lobby of Historic Union Station. Outside on the platform, I was able to check out the train cars that carried the event across the country. This is super cool! So this train is apparently Frank Sinatra's favorite car when he would travel, and he would book the entire car for himself and his friends. Moving to the courtyard, I explored several colored yurts. A red one, containing a star-shaped red bench where folks sat watching Kenneth Anger's Lucifer Rising playing on the walls. A white one, containing a bed, disco ball, and haze by Yours Fisher. <laughs> and a black labyrinthian yurt, white chalk scrawls on the walls, designed by L.A. artist Liz Gwynn, who was wrapped in the dark fabric, giving a rapid dissertation on the nature of dark matter in the universe. So imagine each of you, at the end of the night, each of you are going to go somewhere else. You're going to go to a different point. It's basically fine. You might eat something, you'll throw something in the garbage, that garbage will rot, or it'll get recycled, or you'll send an email, someone will buy that email, something will happen to the universe. Each universe you create gets everything complex. This happens at every point, with every point in the universe expanding out from itself and getting ever more complex. So all of these complexities accumulating over time in dark energy, pushing them apart from each other, causing the universe to expand. That expansion is accelerating, which might account for our technological change when we can't keep up, but we no longer understand where we are in time or in space. The dark matter. I wonder how long that monologue was. It's kind of spooky, but really cool. It's easy to get turned around in this place. It's a labyrinth. And on September 30th, I was able to attend, for free, Ariel Pink's Haunted Graffiti performed at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery in conjunction with Airbnb. Before the show, I was able to check out James Franco's pop-up hotel room, complete with a copy of the very appropriate Hollywood Babylon laid out on the bed. Alright, what do we got here? Is this the, the YOLO crib? Nice. A bite to eat and a free flashlight later, I was ready to start the show. Ooh. This show also featured projections. In fact, a long video was playing for about an hour before the show without sound of people's heads poking through a massage table. The show's narrator begins with a corny but fun spooky welcome. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm the pillow you sleep on at night. The blankie you clenched like whimpering pussies during your childhood thunderstorms. I'm your flat tire when you're running late for work. <laughs> I'm even. Yes, that's right. I'm even Adam and Eve. Sometimes both at once. Throughout the show, the narrator would introduce other sinful dangers on other platforms, working our way around the stage. I was delighted that they played one of my favorite tracks, Kinski Assassin's. <laughs>
the annotation link below and see all the footage I shot from uh, Aerial Pink Sonic Graffiti. In the near future, I'm planning to attend more shows and goings on in and around LA, so make sure you follow me on Twitter and Facebook for more updates, and always remember new videos every Thursday. Thank <laughs> you.